15, the stream of which I fucking crashed it again! <laughs> uh, why doesn't anything go right? Oh my god, dude. Why? Why can't I stream today, dude? Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. My god. I'm fucking tilted out of my goddamn mind. It's still playing the audio, too. <sighs> Time for you to just stream Overwatch. It's, yeah. You know, it's something to do with OBS and it, it trying to put its hooks into Final Fantasy XV. I should update OBS, see if that fixes it. Uh, because I have done everything we've been doing for in regards to mods and cheats for Final Fantasy many times over the past few days. And uh, I have never crashed Final Fantasy except for one time when I was trying to do some fucked up shit with cheats. So, something to do with the OBS hooks into the game. Anyway, I'm booting it up now, so... This is, this is actually okay because I accidentally forgot to enable the hidden outfits when I turned on the cheat engine. Okay. Everything's gonna be perfect. If anything is fucked up, I can't fix it. If I alt-tab, the game's gonna crash. So, yeah. Get your baited, son. Dirty cheater. I'm just getting the good outfits. There's no... So the, the, the cheat engine actually lets you get the Medjai Assassin outfit and the Cup Noodle hat. And those are otherwise completely unavailable for the PC version. So they're in the data, you just can't get them. So I have, I have no qualms with using cheat engine. So yeah, I also got the Sims 4 outfit, you know the good shit all of the things the noodle helmet whatever but you know we're he you know what we're here for we're here for the versus 13 tuxedo that's what we're here for let's use these outfits uh -huh. all right we'll watch the cutscene we'll pretend we didn't just fucking stream the video game earlier crystal and the king's ring what they've been after all along Cheat engine in the Someone chocobo for, for comrades. Merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. I really love this scene. To lose in hand, and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away. And he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Core. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah, this scene's just Amazingly well made, in my opinion. Why can I not use items inside the garage? Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs. There to the northwest of here. 
That's the short ways past the outpost. Find that first. Yeah, I guess I just can't use items in the in there. I, I never noticed. I was going to use the camera to take a look at that uh, the newspaper on the ground on the table. There. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better. Give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. When Final Fantasy XV hits what it's trying to do in terms of like story and cutscenes and direction, man, is fucking real good. Can I use items in the garage now? No? I can just pick up items? That sucks. Because when I was looking at that scene, I saw like the paper that says Insomnia Falls, but the paper under it, I don't know if you can really read it. It says, Amazing First Civilization Discovery. I wonder if there's a texture somewhere in the game files that tells me what's on that newspaper. Because there, that's probably talking about Solheim. I can mod it for you. Oh. oh well, if it ain't the boys with the fancy automobile, that's us. Y'all want to fetch some edibles for me? Why are you asking Dude, us? Dude, I'd love to get well, high. It's just an old Sid. Sid. Yep. Said I should give you all some work. Don't matter what kind. Seeing as you boys can't go home for the time being. Got us there. So y'all gotta learn about the wider world. Now, if y'all can't find the stuff I need, it ain't no big deal, but it'd surely help me out if you could. Sounds good, Taka. You... you have fun. <clears throat> Anyways, what's, uh... Another test from the old man. <sighs> he sure is hard on us. I think he's worried about us. He wants us to prove that we can make it out here. Sure, why not? It's bedtime. Let's take the rest. That way Prompto's not going to yell at us when we get in the car. Didn't we see this cutscene already? Is this the first time we've rested in a caravan on this playthrough? The really important guy wants to do something that's really important. How about you come get some beans, bitch? Also, let's just take a rest here and not go see Core right away. Ludo narrative dissonance at its finest. Master Sid. Master. Hello? Sheesh, thought I'd never get through. Good to hear your voice, Highness. You recognize mine, don't you? It's Dino. Right, the jeweler. Got that right. The best around. Listen, I've been worried about how you guys are doing. How's about you drop by Galden and mingle for a bit? We'll think about it. I like how Noctis doesn't even, like, give him the time of day. He just hangs up on him and says his last final parting word as he has the phone away from him already. Like, fuck off, Dino. But really, and truly, fuck off, Dino. I hate Dino so much. People don't talk like that, for one. Alright, let's go out on the drive to go see Core for the very first time. Definitely, 100%. What do you think it's like inside? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll see for ourselves in time. Indeed. Merely a question of when. Can't believe the crystal's gone. The bastards took it all. And we'll take it back. This is far from over. Still trying to figure out, by the way, a, a good set of quality or graphical fidelity options in order to get a good smooth stream without the stutters, but hey. We're doing the best we can. Game's still running above 30, and I think the stream is too, so... That's solid enough for me. 
I do have all the NVIDIA shit turned on, by the way. I was curious how the game was going to run in Death Sky with all this stuff on, so I ran up, just speed ran up to Chapter 3, like a week or two ago. And then, uh, yeah, it runs pretty okay, and it looks fucking awesome, so we're in there. It would have been cool there's a scripted Imperial dropship on the way here. Yeah, it's weird that the dropships... I don't think any dropships spawn at all until after you assault the the garrison. Which is really weird. You'd think that there'd be dropships and stuff all around lead. At least for Chapter 2. Like, maybe it's normal in Chapter 3, but here there should be a bunch. Yeah, they do spawn in here in lead, but I don't think they do in Chapter 2, do they? I think it's like only once Chapter 3 starts. Maybe I'm wrong. Then this must be the outpost Sid mentioned. Yeah, it looks like a hub for honors. Maybe they know something. Oh, they do in Chapter 2? Never mind then. Look at our wares. Yeah, I should have just pumped up the spawns then. Okay, you are not... Well, Gladio's going to need one. Where did I get all my money from? Ignis needs a javelin. Avengers is fine. Octus is fine. Hey, come again. Oh, okay. Anyway, we need a fourth weapon. I don't have any shields yet. Let's use a pistol, I guess. I man, I don't know. War sword. Uh, drain lance. Oh, did I already have a javelin? No, I'm stupid. Well, I spent money on something I didn't need. Oh well, whatever. Money's not that hard to come by. Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak, seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. Head for the royal tomb. The marshal awaits. The only mention of Dustin until he shows up at the beginning of Chapter 8, and then he never shows up ever again. It's no wonder everyone's like, who the fuck is this guy when Iris shows up? Let's see. Is there anything else around here? Aha! An item! I think there's like a potion or something in this broken down house. It's amazing that they, in all this time, they've never rebuilt this house. They just left it in ruins. Because, I don't know. Maybe the demons, like, fuck it up whenever they try to build it, so they're just like, whatever, don't give a shit anymore. Across the land, Silla Blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in Altitia to pay their respects. Many offering prayers at a vigil held before the wedding dress Lady Luna Freya was to wear. While some hold out hope the Oracle still lives, a grim silence continues to linger. Yeah, I totally forgot who Dustin was too. So young, my blood is true. As my mother before me, I'll work to bring peace to one and all. That marks the ascension of the youngest oracle in history. Is it hard giving blessings? It would be selfish of me to complain of my burden when so many suffer and wait. I hope they trust I will not rest until they all know solace. The world watched on with worry and wonder as the young girl grew. I understand you have a message for us. If you know of any who are bedridden or unable to come to me, pray, send word. And I shall go to them. I follow my calling. I will not halt my steps for anything else. In time, her strength would become an inspiration to all. This is a long ass, ass thing. Treaty. When war has ended, so too will suffering subside. The treaty is a momentous step towards a brighter future. Let there be no doubt. We walk the path of true peace. Holy shit. Across the land, some of 
All right, we're good. I'm here on the marshal's orders. He's tasked me with keeping an eye on the Empire. That one sounds new to me as well. Like, I've heard part of it. I don't think I've listened to the whole thing. Got it. Yeah. Eat shit, Gladio. That does actually turn into a picture when you camp. That's actually I like that detail. Oh fucking Dave. How's it going, Dave? Howdy. Just heard word of another lost tag. Don't know where you boys are headed, but would y'all mind picking it up if it's on your way? Don't you have something to do, fucking Dave? How do they name him Dave? Looked like no hunter I'd ever seen. Was dressed all in black, like one of them crowns guard fellers. I'll wager that was Cor the Immortal. Word is he survived the carnage of the Crown City. Now that you mention it, yeah, it's gotta be him. Couldn't be anyone else. Weird that you have to trigger that cutscene or that dialogue. They should have just like had it play when he ran past. Heard some folks calling him Marshall. Interesting nickname. Guess it's because he's strong. Or because he's Marshal of the Crown's Guard? Oh, well that explains everything. His fancy city clothes, his no-nonsense way of fighting. I like how literally every female in this game is dressed like a normal person except for Cindy. Well, I mean, there's the assless chaps, ladies, and list all them. I guess they don't count. Warp strike the dartboard. I got the bullseye. No one else can either. Cuts First it in half. The City, then Hammerhead, then the Royal Tomb. His nickname should have been Core the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as Core the Immortal. Making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Well, huh? The wise make their own luck. Do you think it's a coincidence he's made it out of all those battles alive? Uh, probably. Where's that bird? No room for error. Uh, get over here, you! St I need the air stepping bucket. Back, you piece of shit. Yeah, really? We did totally did just wait for a while. Get fucked up by this gun! Can't reach him, so I'm pulling out the gat. I've never actually really played with guns outside of what I had to for that video guide. They are surprisingly effective against winged enemies. I know, right? Using guns? What blasphemy is this? wonder what drew him to the royal tomb. A morbid curiosity for the late kings of Lucis. Only one way to find out. That's weird. Ignis makes reference like he doesn't know what we're going to be doing here in the tomb, but later on he's like, oh yeah, there's moral tombs and shit for everybody around here. Like 113 of them. <laughs> the second I get the chance, I am modding the moves out of guns and. Or to make them do something worth a fuck. Because holy shit. Guns are fucking garbage. Actually, wait, I want to test. Yeah! I heard that there was a change in one of the updates to make it so when you'd point warp to something, it actually reflected what sword Noctis was using. That was something I always thought was weird that they didn't do. Uh, that fucking bird got wrecked. No use hanging around here. Indeed. We're here. A tomb fit for royalty. Let's go in and find the marshal. I'm sure it won't be hard to find him. Marshal. At last, your highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty 
as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. He always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice. I knew it. I knew it. It was coming. Best weapon. Sword of the Wise is S. Tony's favorite. But yeah. R r <sighs> Fuck. This scene is where I'm like, you know what? Ray Chase is actually a fantastic actor. Because I had never heard of him really before uh, him playing Noctis. And my only experience with him pre release was the weird Batman voice version of Noctis from like the 2014 trailer. That's not the only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you. For the time being. Who's opening Not the door? Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. So, just how many of these powers are out there? There are 13 known royal arms, each enshrined at a royal tomb. Though we know the location of only a few. I've enlisted the help of the hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tombs. <laughs> Where's the one nearby you mentioned? Kikatrick Trench. We know there to be a crypt. Deep inside the tunnels. Wait! I have an idea. You strike from behind. From there we'll follow. Alright. Got it. <sighs> that guy's about to have a bad time, I'll tell you what. Hey! Eat shit. Kingdom Hearts back cover? No, I haven't. Who does he play? Holy shit! Was that Gladio? That had been still got him there. At any rate. Master of Masters. Shit! I need to check that out. Cause yeah, he's easily one of my favorite actors now for video games. He's actually gonna be at KupoCon, which I think is in like June, and it's in my city, but I don't have tickets, so I won't be able to see him. One of my friends is like, hey, I might be going to KupoCon, would you want me to say, get uh, Noctis' voice actor say something for you? I'm like, fuck yeah I do, but I don't know what. <laughs> I've played the Kingdom Hearts games, yeah. They're not my favorite. Long years ago, we waged a fierce battle here against the Empire. It all went to ruin. And after that, the Empire moved in like it owned the place. They're not my favorite gameplay-wise, but that's because I never really engaged with the system, so it's just, it's just mashing X for me. Also, don't particularly like thing, the part where you can only kill uh, bosses with the final hit of a combo or magic. But yeah, I'm excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. Partially just to see the story because it, it got real dumb. Okay. 
Ah, come back. Die. Yes! I am the god! There's a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2, the base version, on my YouTube channel. But that was a, a long time ago, and the quality of the LP, my LPs, have been uh, severely increased since then. Pronto, you all right? Uh, yes, sir. I'm fine, sir. I like complicated, convoluted narratives. Kingdom Hearts is just an exceptional level of stupid because of what they did to have a new organization 13. Once I saw that, I'm like, don't get ahead uh, of yourself, I don't know about this anymore. Die! You should probably go in instead of fighting these guys, but hey. Your time is come. Get wrecked. Later, dropship. A Magitek armor. Dangerous? This particular model poses a mild to moderate threat. The short version? Somewhat dangerous. Marshall, you'd have to be pretty badass to take that down. Think you're up to it? Let's see what you can do. I do think I'm up to it, so I'm a killer. Ah, oh, trying to get one last hit in. Yeah, as they. Oh, get fucking. Ra oh, shit! <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say get wrecked, but hey. Uh, as the gameplay got better, or more exciting, whatever the hell you want it to be, the story got equally more jacked up. No problem. Sounds like the family is home. Warp more? I don't need to warp more. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this stream playthrough is also kind of like partially research for the the full ultimate playthrough, whatever the hell I want to call it, once all the DLC is out. So if you can like, if there's certain scenes where you think one outfit's better than the other for Noctis slash the Bros, uh, let me know. Here's where we go. I want to take notes. Take this key. It unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. <sighs> Let's head in. I will. You take care. Uh, yeah, so, uh, not, not troll responses, please, Here thank you. Keep it real, huh? For having default outfits, huh? I look. There's a door. Generally, want the Why? default outfits all on all the time. Appears to have been a shelter. People lived here. Those seeking refuge from war, most likely. Wars. Huh. What are they good for? Wonder if anyone's still living here. One thing that's really weird about Kikatri Ken Trench is that huh. What's this? you basically have to be <laughs> holding down Where square to slow walk. Well, we can follow it and see. Or else everyone just starts talking over each other, and the triggers keep. Cutting each other off, it's weird. A generator? So it would appear. Might still run. Start her up. Sweet, it works! Oh, then there was light. Oh man, I do love me some light. Me too. Is this dungeon in particular? The suit fits well for the one in Altissio, though. Oh, yes. I was thinking maybe having one of the suits for when we try to go to Altissio on the boat. At the end of chapter one. He's like, oh, I'm getting ready for the thing. God dress up nice, but I don't know. I'll just have to experiment and see what it looks like. My bad. Kick the can. You are killing me here, big guy. Are you trying to give me a heart attack or something? <sighs> if it's all the same to you guys, I'd rather not get buried alive. Yeah, let us be quick. 
Also, when I was messing around with Cheetah Engine, I was in this dungeon and I had infinite fire spells with no cooldown. I can feel eyes on us. The second we turn our backs, bam! Could be the worst. It was pretty amazing. I, mean, I always miss a trigger here. Uh, did you see that? Something ran past. What was it? Don't know. Let's find out. Uh, we're not gonna run. It was oh. so good. You don't even know. Hello. Uh, anybody home? I'm coming in. Uh, locked. Total shock. Hey, if something's worth locking up, it's worth seeking out. Man, because I want to do the the perfect I run of this. People like died here, and their tormented souls just sort of remained behind. <laughs> In order to do the uh, the perfect playthrough, or as perfect as I can get it, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have to run this dungeon like seven times in order to get the most cohesive Maybe. playthrough. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's playing with us. Because you keep getting spooked by the goblins or whatever, so I'm like, where should I walk first in order to get the most cohesive spooky experience? Hey, wait. Okay, I'm gonna count to three. On three, you open the door. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, here I go. One, two, three! Different door, same story. No luck here either. I don't think anything happens if you try to open the door after he says three or not. Don't bother, not. It won't open. It came from there. Oh yeah. The what first time now? I did this dungeon, I never realized this door opened. I just didn't hear it for whatever reason. Probably because I was talking or something. I don't know. Above us! Look out! Huh. Convenient boulder. There's a trigger in here somewhere to make the lights go out, but I don't remember where it is. Damn it. Well, we fulfilled our jump instead of interact button huh? quota. What is it? That wasn't there before. How we do this not? Oh crap! Whatever. Yeah, in general, the dungeons are really well made in this game. In terms of pacing. Oh, get wrecked. Yep. Onward. Right. They do the same thing in the Belove Mines. Locked. Let us find another way. I don't remember if that door actually opens or not. We uh not there. Stupid mines. Oh. A place to lurk if I've ever seen one. Oh, totally. I really love the reference to the uh, battle on the big bridge with the uh, samurai dude. <laughs> he just kicks your ass and kicks you off the walkway. <sighs> Should we go do that? Can you do that in chapter two? You can, right? Should we go do that? I need a poison pistol, and then I can cheese the boss out, no problem. Full mage build? It's safe, right? I, I could do that with cheats, but not in the regular game. When mods come out, hopefully people mod hey, in the movesets from comrades. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh yeah, and I, I saw the chat message earlier. Forgot to respond to it. Man, I fucked those guys up. Uh... I did not crash the game when I went full magic. Yep. Oh yeah, that's how you open the door. Did not crash the game, but I did drop the FPS to like single digits. It was pretty good. The game was not ready to handle that much fire. Okay, where am I going? Uh, left and then right. Wee. I can't turn it on now because Cheat Engine, like the changes it makes only works if you do it before you load the uh, the save. So, 
I gotta take a wrong turn? Where the hell am I? Is that where I want to be? Yeah, that's where I want to be. I'm dumb. Not paying attention. Otherwise, I would show you what the game is like with infinite magic with no cooldown. It's pretty great. And one more. I'm also going to have to memorize these layouts for the ultimate playthroughs. So that way I don't have to keep going through the map. I want it to be as like cinematic an experience as possible. Which also means it's probably going to be post-commentary, which I hate doing. Because I find it not nearly as entertaining. But I'm going to probably have to edit a bunch of things. Well, somebody turn on a light. Not good to throw daggers in the dark. Now imagine you are here. Whoa! Who makes magic grenades? People who can't use magic but still want to do cool stuff. How dare. Damn it. Goblins. The Prince of Pain. Yep. We all good. Better than good. Good to go. The generator must have died, huh? Well, just gotta keep moving. I maintain that you'd probably be into comrades, Matthew. Does Boruto have magic grenades? What? Because you could do full mage builds in comrades. It looks good, right? This isn't even 60, to be honest. It's like fluctuating between 40 and 50. I mean, it's still better than the like 20 to 15 frames in the in the console versions, but it's the stutter that gets me. But that's because I'm maxing out my GPU like an idiot. Huh? This one won't Enough open either. This. Come on, man! Don't lose your cool. Huh. Says the panicky one. Nice. Another one. Oh shit. You're on fire today. Damn it. You forget about us. Tell us what to do. Wrecked. No use hanging around here. Indeed. But we got the lights back on. You know what? For Matthew's sake. Let's, uh, let's make some magic. Let's cast a spell or two. Did I miss a potion? Oh, did I get... Oh, no, did I get a potion stolen from me? Son of a bitch. Let's do... kind of weird cast can I make? Let's do stop cast. Yeah. Nope. Damn it. Oh, my God. There we go. This interface is not as intuitive as it could be. I'm excited for more bosses and comrades. The only thing that makes me sad is that apparently all of the stats and weapons and stuff in comrades PC version is handled client side, meaning that cheating is easy and rampant. I've not played Comrade since that one stream we did, but Hear that? from what I heard, a bunch of people just running around with all nines for stats. So I'd have to recruit some people that want to do it legit in order to do the, the raid bosses or whatever. Or fight the CEO of Square Enix. A lucky day. Wait, the spider's weak to electricity, right? Well, these ones are not weak, or uh, have no affinity for electricity at all. But I mean, the boss one. Ooh, this looks promising. In an ominous sort of way. Hey, the auto crossbow. The double pen X beer and PS4. <laughs> Is that a thing? Oh god. Uh, hold up. Which way is this way? Yeah, everything just kind of dies, it seems like. Huh. Really gonna be interested, because they said the mod tools, you get, when the level editor comes out, you'll be able to make mini dungeons or something. I wonder how that's gonna work. 
Oh, they are not... They are uh, the opposite of weak to lightning. Whatever, they still get stopped. This will cross with the comrades. So Jeez. Don't I want to do that? Good. Get wrecked. Get him, Gladio. Ooh. Rip. Seven times more damage on the final boss than any other weapon. Nope. Is there a reason to farm the final boss, comrades? Like the new one? Get wrecked. Alright, we're done here. That we are. I haven't been this way, is there an item? No. Uh -huh. Onwards and upwards. No. Okay, well, that's handy. At least you'll have to deal with it once. That's fair. I'm excited to try it. Like, knowing who it is. Are you excited to fight uh, the Adam and Toys with all of your friends? That's weird. The hell? Because I sure am are not amped. Aren't. Jesus, I can't English today. Show me the money. They have to do something to make that fight interesting, right? Like, the added man toys isn't just going to be a mostly a mobile damage sponge. Right? Right? So, Noct borrows the old king's powers. Hmm. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. The copycat king. Out of line. Well, what's it like? Hmm. Like I've got some tricks up my sleeve. No need to put on a magic show for us. But it never hurt to practice. I always thought these tombs were, like, super interesting, but there's just not a lot to them. Yeah, you know, if it dealt damage, that would be interesting. Like, who are all of these people? How many are there, anyway? There's four, eight, nine? It's the same for every tomb, I think. It's probably the, it's supposed to be the Oracle. And then eight... Soldiers? I don't know. I wonder if they'll ever replace this model with, like, the actual... Uh, model for each of the kings, because that concept art exists, if you look in the official works book. Which I hope gets an English version soon. So that way I could just see all the cool stuff. They probably won't, but I think it would be cool if they did. Yeah. Finally picked up. But I'd lost another king. <sighs> Just busy building my arsenal. Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base along the road west of the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the West and all the royal tombs that lie beyond. I believe you've met Monica. She can fill you in on the details. Go see her. What's up? Uh, people to see, bases to burn. Let's go see Monica at the outpost. Uh... Come to think of it, we did spy a large structure. Yeah. Hard to miss an ominous thing like that. It ain't gonna be easy taking down a whole stronghold. Can we really do this? The Marshal believes we can, or he wouldn't have asked us. But first things first. Right. Let's this coral isn't weak to electricity, is he? 
Nobody's been stopped. Yeah, blindside link. I don't know how I triggered it, but the other day I saw a blindside link between all four of the bros. I don't know if you've ever seen... Oh my god! I don't know if you've ever seen that before, Acetoni. I've only seen it the one time, as far as I can remember. Oh my god, don't hurt me! I do this. You should be able to warp to your comrades like in comrades. Ugh! Glad I did you miss? What the fuck? Oh my god. Let's see what? Uh. The. Some kind of blindside link. No, please don't hurt me. Between all four of the bros. I've only seen it the one time. It just randomly happened. I don't know how to trigger it. Oh, wait. No, that's bad! Stop that! No! Don't get instant deaths, guys! Stupid coral. Yeah, I only saw it the once. I'm like, what? How? Dude, maybe it, maybe it didn't happen and it just looked like it. You know, I'm gonna use a slightly more mobile weapon where I won't die as easily. Oh God! All right, time to potion spam. It says you can warp strike with Sword of the oh, Sword of the Wise and survive. Ooh, that's cool. Can I stop it? Yes, I can. Get it, boys! Sure. Whoa, the frame rate! We can tell the tie yet. The firm rate is bad. Thank you. Get up, nerds. Gotta hate this coral. This one coral in particular. Whoops. Iggy, no! I'll tell you what, this thing was super easy to kill when I had infinite fire magic. Wait, isn't this thing weak to spears? Jesus, poison. Yeah, poison's so good. <laughs> you can stand on the ride. <laughs> oh god. Fall down. Use your fall down and die move. Just gonna stand over here behind this rock. Thank you. No biggie. Nice Gladio. I can never tell if him holding the sword upside down like that is a glitch or not. I don't have the sword of the wise. Gladio's dead. That's nice. Poison is really good in this game, but except for when you're doing a level 1 playthroughs or something, you almost never need to use status effects. Half the time I don't remember status effects exist. Alright. Uh... Put on the dank fire. Add some of this. Let's try it. Oh god! And it missed. I'm fucking really good at this game. We must regroup. Sure. This does percent be uh, base damage, right? Can I like get this coral to? Let's see. No, that was a mistake. Thought I could knock him over. Yeah, 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 I know. We're sorely overmatched, Doctor. Let us retreat. One false move and we're done for. That's a new one. I haven't seen that one in a while. Forever. Sometimes I can't remember. Stop it! Why? Why? <laughs> Stop hauling me. Oh god, I'm gonna use all my items. Wait. Bird! I'm not convinced I'm gonna be able to kill this in any kind of reasonable fashion. Or time. Oh 
Eat shit. Damn it. That's what I get for trying to help my friends. Fuck. Missed the blink. Wait, can I even blink if I don't have the thing? I don't think I do. I, I do have the bio blast. You are absolutely close. You're, you're absolutely correct. Before we can slip. That was very close. I don't know how I dodged that, to be honest. This is definitely gonna work. This won't backfire at all. Hey, it worked. Uh, where's Prompto? Rip. We must regroup. Sure. Okay. Yep. Do a thingy that I can block. Okay, not that one. The other one. Do the other one. Prompto's dead. I am more Phoenix Dance. Bad news bears. Fuck. Uh, Mega Elixir. Yeah. Get it! At this point, I just wanted to die. I was the, the raddest. Make it die! That was a close one. Too close for comfort. I'm comfortable just being alive. That was the raddest aerial warp dodge I've ever done in my entire Final Fantasy XV career. Fuck the whiskers. I mean, that's why we fought them, but fuck the whiskers. I'll just do it again later. Some more cheese or something. Guess we'll just rock the bio blaster for a while. Machines, I wish machines were cool. Machines had potential. Especially since it's the first time we've seen machines as like a, a real weapon class since like Final Fantasy VI. Man, this game looks pretty at night. Like the light blooms. Man. There's the disc over there. The meteor. Fuck, there's dogs in this game. Alright. They are. Your Highness, the Marshal has apprised me of the plan. We found a back door into the Imperial base. I'll mark the route on your map. The way is secure. You should be able to gain entry relatively easily. How's that flamethrower machine, by the way? Said I wasn't gonna buy any items, so I guess we'll just deal with uh, having no Phoenix Dance. Gladio needs to, like, find some already. Jerk. We've been on move all night. Perhaps we should find a place to rest nearby. Uh, I disagree. I won't stop you. But there's a thin line betwixt bravery and stupidity. You haven't even tried it? How dare you call yourself a Final Fantasy XV guide maker? Time to go. Mm hmm. That's fair. Do the U turn. There we go. Whee! I heard that they made the Type D regalia not accessible until like Chapter Eight or something. So, who is this Monica person? A servant of the Crown's Guard, like Gladio and myself. She's one of my father's best, along with Dustin, who's guarding my sister. Hmm. Good to know we still have people we can count on outside the city. That's two mentions of Dustin. I remember part of my plan for be a the nice uh, change of pace. Part of the plan for the the definitive playthrough was to crash the regalia intentionally in chapter three, 
and then the next episode would be footage from episode Dust Guy, where you had to like get money to fix the regalia, and then it would come back in the in the main playthrough as the Type D, so I would repair it off screen and change it. But apparently, you can't do that, so get yeah, fucked me. He's an accessory that gets Prompto Infinite SMG ammo. Doesn't that like make Prompto the best character in the game? Because the SMG does a, a retarded amount of damage. You know, why didn't I play as Prompto when we were fighting the Coral and just shoot him to death? I'm dumb, dude. Wait, do I even have that unlocked? Uh, is it teamwork? No. Techniques, yes. I do have that unlocked. I'm dumb. Yeah, not... Prompto's already the best character in the game. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Hmm. Grab Death Drop. Don't really need Osmo Strike right now, but I like to have it. I want Air Dance. Can I blink? I do have Blink, okay. Warp Decoy. I like. I feel like Warp Decoy doesn't draw enough aggros. Impervious would be nice. Uh, anything super important that I want? This, actually. And how is there not a new node for the armature? Like, how is that not a thing? Read the, pr the script for Promptus Guide a few days ago. <laughs> From here, we will split into two groups. Prince Noctis, please join the Marshal up ahead. The rest of you will assist me in the diversionary effort. That's, that's a good one, you should do that, for sure. I have, like, most of the script for Prompto's video done. I just need to actually record the footage and well, see you guys edit later. it. You go give them hell. We'll do the same on our end. That's the same smile you gave me when we did the cup noodle quest, Gladio. Gladio just smiles like a creep, dude. I'll have to do the, the character guides once I get back from my vacation to Japan next week. Well, I leave for it next week. I get back at the be beginning of May. Be Mid-beginning of May. Alright. I'm gonna swap my gear here. Let's do... Actually... Uh, should I do... Headless Noctis? No, I'll just do the fatigues. I want the HP. Once we're in, we launch our ambush, pushing out while support pushes in, crushing the enemy from both sides. So here's my question, and I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it would break the game or what. But technically, you know, actually, I didn't go through Core's gear yet. Core's gear exists in the main game. What happens if I were to, like, hack the Kotetsu onto Noctis. What happens? Like, does, does it just break? Does it not function? I don't know. Anyway, the Kotetsu is Chorus Trusty Katana. It is an absolutely regular-ass Katana, but Chorus just a badass. And then the Kikuichi Monji is a uh, Wakizashi, or short, short Sword. Does he ever actually use this? I don't think he does. And then he's got some cool stuff like a carbon bangle. I wish it had told me what these things do, but I, ca I can't see the details on them, so oh well. Right? Like, it would have the sword moveset, but in theory, it would point to animations that Core has. Oh, does it? Oh, it does have the sword icon. Is that the same? Yeah, it is. Weird. Good eye. I'd like a katana that worked like a sword, though. I'd be into that. I have to see if there's a way to cheat that into my save. 
There's a cheat that just overrides it so that whenever you buy something from the shop, it uses that. Uh, or like gives you the item that you cheated in. It's like if I were to buy a potion with the cheat on instead of the potion, it would give me whatever item I wanted. So I could probably, if the Kutetsu shows up in there, cheat it in that way. Aw, oh, damn it! This is gonna be a rad combo. And then everyone died. Stop teasing me! I really want to know if that dialogue is written after they scripted Core to never show up again. <laughs> God, I hate these guys. Oh, screw off. Get blown away. Man, machines suck ass, don't they? Yeah, like... I don't know what the problem was that half the game doesn't utilize the warp at all in terms of its level design. But... Every once in a while, they're like, hey man, we've got like warps and shit, why don't we do something cool, like have multiple height battles? I love the soundtrack to Final Fantasy XV, and this is the problem I have with uh, most of Yoko Shimomono's work, is that while I'm listening to it in-game, it's fantastic. I just super don't want to listen to it on its own. With a couple exceptions. Somnus is uh, timeless, and it's fantastic always. Uh, Hellfire is too good. Specifically, the, the, the final phase version of Hellfire. Too good. Fucking wrecked. And, uh, there's a bunch of other random tracks around where I, I can listen to those on the mo on their own. So it should be. Otherwise, you'd only get in everyone's way. Could have gone it alone if I wanted. That mentality could prove your undoing, Highness. Nah. I heard they made a sequel to Somnus. For the Royal Edition music? Is it good? I haven't listened to it yet. I heard the episode medley that I think plays in the Comrades mission. That's the only song I've listened to. Not Marshal, it's good to see you again. All right on your end? Right as rain. The Nifs couldn't take their eyes off us. Thanks to you, we were spared their attention. Stay right where you are! Well, well, if it isn't Kor the Immortal. So, you survived the Citadel. But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend came to an end. Makes you wonder if Loki was at the Citadel. Or the Grand City, rather. Actually, yeah, why does he call it the Citadel? Is there like an implication that they met at the Citadel? I don't know. I don't know about the Summons thing, but I've really noticed small differences. Alright, well, I'll just have to keep my eyes out to hear if I hear Somnus at some point. Once I get there, of course. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Get blown away. Oh god. Uh don't wanna pick me up. Thank you. Whoa! Oh come on. I was holding phase. Alright. Get me up. Not waiting for my bros. Prompter there it is. Prompter, you motherfucker! I was gonna swap to you, and then I pressed X to pick him up, but it gave me the parry prompt. Man. Well, I guess we're playing Gladio now. Fucking Prompto. 
Yeah, the Citadel is the place where the, uh, the crystal was, but I mean, like, why didn't he just say the Crown City? Get hit with the faceless sword! Why is that even a move? I don't know. What were all those particle effects? Is that Noctis? What the fuck? I feel like there's more particle effects all of a sudden. What are all these red flashes? No, I was trying to use Razor's Edge. Too many guns. Noctis, pick me up, you piece of shit. Thanks, bro. Earth Shatter for the win! That would have been cool if I didn't get smoked by that explosion at the end. Impressive. Seeing you in action puts my mind at ease. It's clear I don't need to worry anymore. I'll return to watching the NIFs. Till next time, take care. Yeah, Loki, the, the fucking cat, man. Who's hanging around in this garrison in Comrades, by the way? It's just a bunch of random NPCs. Ain't so bad out here once you get used to it. Still a lot we haven't seen, though. And a lot for us to do. <sighs> yeah. Buck up. We're just getting started. Ah. <sighs> Just a bunch of randos. That eh, feels bad. Like a prompto. Wait, what? Why is Noctis slightly ahead in levels? Get wrecked, prompto. It's just the inside of a building? What? Nice depth of field, bro. But that's when we were doing the uh, the darts. Don't know what's up with the core here. We don't get a lot of pictures of core. There's one cool thing in there, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Sounds good. I will figure it out eventually. So many things are happening in this photo. For some reason, I don't usually get a lot of photos of Noctis and Ignis broing it out. Nah, you know what? I just kind of like this photo. Nothing special about it, I just kind of do. Are there two Noctises in that? Was there? Uh, anyway. Chapter 3, The Open World. The Empire is a powerful foe, and Noctis has to travel far before he has far to travel before he can hope to reclaim the crystal. He sets out across new lands in search of the power of his forebears. I think it's Noctai. It's like he's like a cactus. I'll have to double check that photo. Because it was Ignis and Glide on the right, and then Noctis was doing the whole spinny attack at that time, I think. Tempest. That's the one. I still need to overclock my CPU, by the way. Throw in some more RAM. Next year, when I get my tax return, I should upgrade my PC. Spend all, like, $30 million I get on my one GPU or something. Throw in a Titan. You know. As you do. <laughs> Oh wait, we said I said we were gonna do below mines, didn't I? 
Oh, grass type. Dude, you don't even know how good this looks. I did install a mod, though, to change it so that the grass gets trampled. Like, it got trampled without the mod, but with the mod, it makes it so the grass stays trampled. So, like, when, you, when you're finishing a fight in the grass fields, you can see exactly where everyone got, like, knocked down. Oh, man, it's cool. Also, I, I think I said this last time we streamed, but that was a long time ago. I did turn on the HD option, whatever the hell it's called, so there's more grass. That mod that has the crumpled grass, there's also a mod to make the grass taller. So we can turn that on next time if we want, just to see what it looks like. Yeah, dude, it looks really good. Grass Final Fantasy 15, or Grass Fantasy. You don't even know what Grass Fantasy is, man! Grass Fantasy 15 is the the weed brand crossover. Holy shit, this load time, though. Every once in a while, the load times on the PC version just get, like, console levels, and then sometimes they're fast as shit. I mean, it is a chapter load, so... So, the prince eludes death, and what of the elusive ring? Eluna Freya has absconded with it. Find and kill her. The ring is the final piece. We may do well to take her alive. The six wield power beyond our imagination. The Oracle holds the key for the King. She could unlock many secrets. Nay, High Commander. That's, um... Lord Ravis. The Imperial Army is now at... The dude that Lord hangs out with Loki in the Imperial base. I forget his name. A moot point, while the fugitives remain at large. He's also on Episode Ignis. Caligo, My that's his name. And I will continue our search for the prince and the oracle. So glorious. My crystal. Thought he was fatter. Maybe he got fatter like later on, man. You Look don't know. World. Here we come. Not a lot of work for him left to do. Leave this dust bowl behind. The lands beyond are vast by comparison to lead. Bigger's better. More stuff to see and do. First comes the sky, a region known for its wetlands. Really? Wetlands? There's also a chocobo forest. Now we're talking! Further west lies the Klain region, wherein we'll find the town of Lestalem. Oh, isn't that where Iris is headed? And barring delays, she should have arrived by now. Maybe even had herself a look at the meteor. The meteor of the Six? The same. Its heat is yeah, right. to power Lestalem. Sounds way cool. I'm actually looking forward to this. It is a little weird that Verstyle never shows up again. I feel like at the Emperor gets justified enough for not showing up. Also, I kind of just don't give a shit, to be honest. The driver's seat is yours, Noct. If you so desire it. How do we have a lay of the land? We've never been to Dust Guy before. I feel like Verstyle should have shown up at least once more. Who could this be? Mm. Hello? Um, Noct? Iris? It's really you! So good to hear your voice. Everything's fine over here. We managed to make it to Lestalem. We just settled into our new digs. So yeah, let me know when you're coming so we can meet up. Yeah, we will do. You better. The Emperor is pretty good. Was they that just... Iris? Currently underutilized. Call her own brother. In all fairness, yours wasn't the obituary broadcast all over Lucius. What about me? She say anything about me? Damn, Prompto, you thirsty as fuck. Did you see that sign? Chocobos! Chocobos! No, no time for that. Need to get to Lestalem. It's still ages away. Come on, just a quick visit. Sure. Sure. Let's check it out. Yes! Could be awesome! 
Oh, how hyped Prompto is. Alright, let's go talk to Monica. Wait, not Monica. Fucking... The fuck's her name? Why is the quest all the way over here? What? Well, if it isn't Sonya... That's her name. Huh. Somebody you know? Spoke with her just the once, back at Hammerhead. Now that you mention it, you were chatting someone up. She's real knowledgeable about wildlife. Could teach us a thing or two. Go on and introduce yourself. And funnily enough, if you were actually... I think it's the first time you go to Hammerhead, at the very beginning. Gladio is talking to Sonya there. Oh yeah! <laughs> I forgot about that line! That was so good! When the both Regis and uh, uh, the Emperor both think they know what's up. But well, the other one doesn't. They're like, nah, man. Ugh, what is it now? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy at the moment. Oh, it's you boys. Wait, who are you again? And what do you need now? N nothing. Hmm, you're saying you distracted me for nothing? This won't do. Won't do at all. Precious seconds down the drain. How am I to make up for them? <gasps> of course. You boys can help me. Uh... Okay. That's the spirit. I was just thinking I could use a few extra hands for catching frogs, to be precise. Wait, what? Fox? Uh, and if you're thinking any old frog will do, wrong. You're not getting off that easily. Only the red frog native to Ulster suits my need. You'll need to get knee and elbow deep down at the sloop. With that, I'll get back to my work. Remember, it's red frogs, and make sure they're fresh. Are Sonya and Taka the only two black people in this game? It was just a random thought I had. That was... overwhelming. Hmm. Let's hope it'll be edifying as well. How did you manage to talk to her? Oh, you know me. I do know you. We are Exinerous. Nope. Maldacio Hunter HQ. Nope. Your vacation. Why settle for anything less than the Monster Oh wait. Dream of driving me. Searching for super seafood? You dream of driving. In the wake of Lady Luna, we are exist. Lord Ravis Knox Flore was recently appointed Imperial. Oh, West was black, yeah. However, due to grievous wounds sustained in the Citadel, he has been recalled to Niflheim for treatment. Citizens are assured he will resume peacekeeping efforts in Lucis once recovered. You dream of driving. It's your vacation. Where is that one about the monster watch? Shit. Oh god. Oh no, I think because I did saw it the once, it's never gonna play again. Fuck me. You know when you're trying to skip through stuff because you're expecting something else and then you accidentally skip over it because you were just in the Welcome habit. To the crow's nest. Man, I don't even know what that broadcast was about. I just I wasn't the, the one I was expecting. Well. Or like the usual ones, I mean. Got all those icons for Lestellum lit up. Take a look at the menu. What do we got? Let's do uh, Kenny Salmon. Hold on, just a sec. Excuse me. Bon appetit. Is it a that's it moment? Nope. Okay, feels bad. Are you willing to do our dirty work? All right. Let's grab this one. Go get him. Garlos and skeletons. Best of luck. Every single enemy wanted for habitat destruction. Not good enough for that one. Come back in one piece, you only win the secret recipe. Recipe. We're still never playing Justice Monsters Five. Sorry to tell you. Why are you cleaning the outside, dude? The fuck? Say that again? All I heard is your tongue's like sandpaper, and I'm like, were you giving him a blowjob earlier? The fuck? 
Hey there. All right, racing strike. Thanks. And of course, music. See you next time. All right, grass height. Grass, 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 grass. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's all trampled and shit. That's cool. Grass, 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 grass. Getting banned soon? Why am I getting banned? Don't ban me. You can't control me. Ah, oh, shit. That hunt's really far away. Where's the other one? Next thing I need now. Oh. Here we are. Ice field? Not good. Eat shit, yellow tooth. So that's that Noxus does the extra auto step. When he's out of range. How did, what the fuck? Did just straight up whip? Wreck-a-root. Look at that. We're in there. Does it get trampled when I just walk through it? It totally does, dude! Oh yeah. This mod was worth it. I don't think it even, it's even that much of an FPS hit, to be honest. Because it did get trampled regularly, it just doesn't stay down as much. Hey, there's an item. Give me that. I don't see why people are so upset about item orbs. Oh, hey. Wrecked. Stream quality kind of fucks it up. Ah, damn. That sucks. Oh god. Oh yeah. Way back when. Oh shit! The gang squad! No! 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 Stop! <laughs> I didn't ask for this! Ignis! Get him! More like wrecked wheels. Wow. Savage. Engage the power of fucking Blizzard. I don't know how to use Ignis. Well, Ignis, just, I don't know why. I can't get the grasp of how to play him, right? I press square. The fuck? The fuck? How did I end up over there? What? I'm very confused. Alright, anyway, Jojo pose. Eat ass. I'm pressing square, dude! A wee monster. Hit the guy on the ground, thank you. Oh, I do have a full tech bar. Do the high jump. Oh my fucking god. Can't move with the hell. High jump, high jump, high jump, high jump, high jump. There we go. Get 
got him. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Cool. To the hunt. I love memes. Specifically Final Fantasy 15 memes. There's a really good one. It's a picture of Noctis that says, uh, when you first enter university. And then next to it's a picture of adult Noctis that says, when you finally graduate. It's close. How dare you poison me, you piece of shit. Why is that attack miss? Rude. So when does the Ketobubble has Ketobubble blah 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 actually roar? There they are. Ketobubble pass. Every fantasy game I've seen that has a Katoblipas in it pronounces it differently. Fuck. Stop it! No! Get off of me! I'm trying to use weapons I don't use. Uh, Procto says it once or twice, fuck. You guys are a little stronger than I'm used to. Uh, and then in Witcher 3, Geralt says it. Someone pick me up! Oh, you're all fuckers. Thanks, Iggy. You wanna actually, like, res me now? Ignis. Ignis. Thank you. Set yourself up for full. How's it going, Broskis? Oops, wrong one. Uh, best character in the game! Secretly OP. Literal shit when he's AI controlled, but god tier in the hands of a person. Hey guys, check this out. I found this bazooka in my back pocket. I didn't realize they had lines for when you weren't playing as Noctis. I'm more interested in watching Noctis fight. Never actually watched it play as an AI. It seems like he has more particle effects. Does Noctis do it? Seems Prompto's been intoxicated. I wouldn't say that. Wouldn't have a bounty on its head if it weren't. Shit. I'm beat. Time for some well earned R and R. Yeah, all the trampled grass. Oh yeah, we can go fishing. Actually, chasing the below of mine's boss is probably way easier with Prompto, huh? I keep thinking about it in terms of playing as Noctis. If you're here for the hunting, do it someplace else. I don't want you boys scaring the fish. A bit late for that. Into fishing? Indeed, I am. You too? Yeah, I fish whenever I can. Well then, a fellow fish nut. Come on, let me show you a good spot. We're gonna have to try that before the stream is over. Oh man, the water and rain effects in this game. A plus tier. These parts before. First time here? Something like that? 
Well, the name's Naboth. I've traveled the whole world just about, looking for new fishermen. If you're as keen as you say, what do you say to a challenge? A challenge? The Crag Barramundi lurks in these waters. Catch him. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I like your spirit, my boy. I like your face, Naboth. This game is so gorgeous, dude. The fishing looks good here. Hey, a poster for uh, did I? Time. Do I have the good stuff on? Looks like I've got the good stuff on. Definitely got the good stuff. All right, let's do this. I don't want to ride a fish. Come on. I love the the hypeness of fishing, except for when you're doing the the Gladio tour to fish, and you hear this stupid fucking song for fucking thirty minutes. You're trying to catch this goddamn fish. Got it. The prize catch. That's the one Naveth was talking about. Yep. Yeah, that's the Crag Barramundi, all right. Wait, really? First try? Sweet. Respool alive before it's too late, Noctis! Pull the rod towards the fish! Beauty just like yours! God. I was trying to do that stupid uh, quest, and I had to catch like 30 fish before I found the one I wanted. My dad was sitting in the living room with me as I was playing, and I had to mute it because we were both getting pissed off. Hearing my bros backseat fish <laughs> well a promise is a promise here's your prize you sure sure I'm sure with that lure you'll be able to diversify reel in more kinds of fish I don't know man title Leviathan is pretty fucking good You're catching things you ain't caught before <laughs> end of the day that's what being an angler is all about it's a good joke you're still wet behind the ears but you got potential Where does that phrase even come from? Everything in order. Yep. Right behind you. You're gonna try out that lure, right? Of course he is. Well, if you guys insist. In that case, you're in charge of finding dinner tonight. The va or, uh, behemoth footprints. I like how all this stuff is still in the game, but they removed the quest for Dead Eye. Like, the fuck. Could you propose a way to finish this faster? Can't stop not. I say. I actually dodged the shake attack. Holy shit! I'm a god. Maybe it's just me, but I felt kind of bad taking those things down. You're not alone, but out in Whoa. the wilds, kill or be killed. And personally, I'd prefer the former. Anyway, okay, we'll do Dead Eye next you time. I think I'm probably gonna get off Thanks. soon. But I do want to try and do the Below Mines. Gorilla hair physics are too good. Yeah, dude. Hair works is so good. It kills the frame rate. Like, hardcore, but it's fucking worth it. I don't think there's a tour associated with this one, so we'll just skip it for now. Also, they took out a bunch of the tours from Episode Dust Guy. Like, why? They were already made. Just give them the voice acting. Like, why? Now even if people were to mod those in, there won't be any voice acting. Calamity. Is that a poison pistol? I forget. 
I want a poison pistol before I go to the blue mines. Yes! The prompto one with the the mushroom picking is still there, yeah. That's the one where you take a photo with the Katoplopas. And uh, quests. Where's the other hunt? Fuck, it's all the way over there. Well, I said we were going to do it, so we're going to do it. If I said we we're going to do it, I mean, uh... You I kind of, camp? like, implied we we're going to do it by the fact that I took it. Huh, move faster. Pokey. Knocked. We should make haste for Lestalum. Knocked. Overhead. Show up, guys. I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to mod in the Deadeye version of the, the episode Deskai version of the Deadeye quest. That will probably be possible because you can do like triggers and stuff. So you, you just have to play episode Deskai and figure out where the triggers were there and then just put them in approximately the same location. Hopefully that'll work anyway. Once the level editor is out. Let's have some light. All right. Like right here, there was a trigger. I wonder if people actually go out farming for ingredients. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. Well, I can taste this for you. Man, that lighting's so good. The did I cutscene? Which one's that one? I know, I know that there was a bunch of cutscenes related to the die quest, but I forget which one you're talking about. God, why does this game look so good? Cool? Core was such a badass. I'm just glad he's on our side. The one where they attack. Oh yeah. Thanks. I have no idea why they got rid of all that stuff. We're Maybe they did the that because they We're figured the that they wanted you to go get Ramu a different way. The and then they ended up changing that. They ended up changing that to the way it is in the final game. But they never got around to switching the Dead Eye quest back to the way it was. Just removing the, the Ramu part. I don't know. Either way, they fucked it up. Do cross chains ever proc before you get the Tomb of the Conqueror? Stop it. Thank you. It's weird what they did. Frame rate's going to shit. Frame rate's going to shit. Uh, Glad you do something. Eat shit. Too many hair works enemies at once. Hit it, Gladio. You asked for it. Oh god. This is the cinematic framework we've always wanted. Fuck. Ooh, getting wreck a root. It's like it's a status effect. As I kill more dudes, I'm healing the Lord frame rate status. Kind of. Same to you. Not a moment too soon. Time for some well earned R and R. Return! Yedris Alder capped. I should watch King's Glaive again. No I like that movie. Sheesh. You're my mother or something? Mum's the word. Welcome. Welcome! 
Nice work out there. Hey, those are dishes that Ignis makes, you fucking recipe stealer. You know Ignis hasn't learned them yet. Must have been a real doozy. I don't think I've watched King's Glaive since like around when 15 first came out. What's on your minds? Yeah, not really. We'll see you around. I can see why regular film critics gave it like 30% or something on Rotten Tomatoes, but still, it's fun. I like it. Maldacio Hunter. You dream of trust. Maldacio. You dream. We are the. Come on, kid. Lord Raven. Maldacio. It's your vacation. Where is that monster watch from? It's your vacation. In the wake of Lady Lunafrey's passing, thousands have flocked to Fenestala Manor in Tenebrae to pay their respects. Pilgrims have spared no expense, traveling from afar by boat and train. Many expected a eulogy courtesy of Lord Ravis, Lady Lunafreya's brother and last of the Oracle's line. But Lord Ravis has avoided the view of the public eye since the bloodshed at the signing ceremony, causing many to worry about his well-being. Especially not since uh, video game movies are almost universally terrible. Anyway, uh, where is the camper? Over there. I wonder if that, uh, radio broadcast implies that Ravis does have oracle powers. And he just doesn't have Gladio, responsibility because he's not a gotcha. female. Or if he just happens to be of that lineage. Isn't Dave supposed to be right here? I guess I haven't done his quest yet, have I? Oh god, I never... I saw part of that movie, you I never watched it nuts? all the way. In King's Night? Oh yeah, I'm game. King's Night sucks. I'll join you. I don't like that game at all. The weird part is they made a game based on the plot of the Prince of Persia movie. Actually, I remember that game not being all that bad. Hey, isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. What? Is Carbuncle around here? Yeah, they did. Hmm. Carbuncle clipping into the ground? Wow. Where? Oh, I see it. Hey. All right, back to the mines. Did I give Prompto the gun? Yeah, I did. Auto map point. Where's the mines? It's right here, right? Well, right there, I guess. Ready for more? You yep. bet. Let's hit it. Uh, not that much longer. Rum rum. My brother, whenever he wants to get a game, he always buys it on my Steam account. I don't know why. Because now we always run into this problem where I'm playing a game on Steam or something, and then he wants to play, but he can't play because he has to use my Steam account through his computer. But you can't use the same Steam account for two different games at once. I'm like, just put games on your account. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Yeah, Below Mines is a troll-ass dungeon. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I love it. I love that the game's like, nah, how about fuck you? But also, like, why? There was a mod... as uh, random tangent, I guess. Uh, I was looking at... Witcher 3 mods, because I wanted to play Witcher 3, now that I have a PC that can play it. Because I played it on console originally. Was, oh god. Talk about technical problems. Um, there was a mod I saw on Nexus mods for Witcher 3 that was like random monster spawns. So all it did is it made uh, really powerful monsters randomly spawn in the world, because, you know, they, they're just... they're like animals in Witcher 3. They're, they're just around. I'm like, oh, that's a really cool idea. What the fuck's over there? What is that? 
Hold up, what? Have I ever been in there? Wait, hold up. Stop Ignis, for a second. Pull over a sec. Certainly. What's in that little alcove there? Let's head on out. It's a goblin tunnel? It's a goblin tunnel. Pseudodon? What the fuck? What? Where is this? Keep going. I have never gone to that little nook before. Knocked overhead. Let me see that. New content in Final Fantasy 15. Uh, I've never seen it. It's new to me. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so uh, why are the bushes bouncing? Oh, wind from that thing. I was thinking. Wouldn't it be cool if that mod exists in Final Fantasy 15? So like, you'd just be running around fighting goblins or whatever, then BOOM! There's a Yoshimitsu. I mean, that already happens in the dark, but... Uh... You know, like, what if a zoo just spawned or just came out and it's like, HEY! And you're like, whoa. What the fuck is this? Oh, you know, wait, no, hold on. Oh, I have seen this before. Never mind. I totally forgot about this. Oh, yeah, because you have to... I think... Doesn't Cindy send you here? Or, no, she doesn't send you here, but I actually went in here looking for a thing that Cindy asked me to find. Best thing I, need now. I remember this. This was in my, um... In my blind Let's Play. One of the early episodes. I totally forgot about this thing. What a weird piece of the world that never gets utilized. Weird. I feel like what they did to make this game is they got a bunch of dudes that made the world, and then they built the story and side quests and whatever around where people had built the world. So like, there was no intelligent design in regards to gameplay. It was like, it wasn't a bunch of people saying like, oh, we can use this place for a side quest later. It was just a bunch of like world designers like, oh, hey, I think it makes sense based on the, the society or whatever to have a, a tunnel here. And then like half a year later, a bunch of gameplay designers like, well, we got this world. The fuck do we put in it? And like, where? I mean, I guess there's a tunnel here. We'll just put enemies in there. I don't know if you noticed, but there are like half a dozen special, small special encounters like this. All of them are lead. There are? Where are the other ones? Yep, yeah, but that makes me think, um... They started putting out a lot of stuff, and then they realized, you know, we really have to get a move <laughs> on. Amazing. And, uh... Finish this fucking game. <laughs> so they just didn't have time to keep putting the same level of dense content and detail into Duskai and Klein. Two more goblin tunnels and three valleys? Or do you mean sp just small encounters? I definitely heard something. Yeah, there you go. Cause I remember I found this guy in exactly the same fashion. One right when you enter Duskai, it's like a saber tusk ambush. Fuck. I'll have to go check that out later. I have no idea what you're talking about. Where is this fucker? God damn it. Getting sidetracked by the fucking... Help the hunter. There he is. Dumbass. Why are the hunter so incompetent? Thank you so much. Shut up, nerd. Work. Why don't you carry any potions on you? Oh, okay, cool. We'll 
and check them out next Ingus, time. How many royal arms are there? As many as there have been kings, though not all will have survived to this day. It's like a treasure hunt. What is this little farm thing? Why are all these cool locations here instead of... Oh my god, dude, why is this game just to have content out the ass? Magitech engine. It's close. Oh man. What? You really spawned a Magitech thing above me as I was loading? That's a dick move. Let's do this. Okay. Bitch. Try to roll, actually. Okay, well, bullets fucked me up. Feels bad, man. I used my last potion on that idiot. Prop out. So many weird things and ideas. Yeah, that are utilized. What a fucking weird game. Like, it has so many... Uh, weird quirks. There's, there's like a certain amount of charm to uh, having weird flaws like that, but at the same time, come on. That was close. I was gonna go rescue him, you know. I messed up again. I just like doing this. It's just fun. I do like that the armature unleashed auto blocks bullets for you. Thank you. Can't block all the bullets. Oh my god. <laughs> Prompto got super murdered. Uh, uh, I was holding down phase. What the fuck? Ignis, help me out. Ignis, help me out. Alright. Next warp strike's so good. I'm talking shit about my warp strike. Pick up Ignis. For the love of fuck, pick up Ignis. Oh my god. <laughs> I was pushing square, I swear. Gladio, Gladio do it! Well, well I'm out of fucking MP. Iggy's dead. Do it again. I don't need HP when they're all dead. Watch this. No. Huh. Try to hit him from behind. I'm dying of thirst Did here. It. I'm starving to death. And yet we're all very much alive. Like that guy in the car is just chilling. Trying to get to the mines. Run from in order. Yep. Mm-hmm. What a so weird nice. game. I've been taking pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Uh, Gladio, I guess. How about more shots of Gladio? <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. He's so not impressed to take shots of Gladio. You're late, Lynx White Glint. Didn't talk for like an hour and a half. Now you want pictures of Ignis? Fuck you. Ignis is really rad, though. That well, would be nice if Gladio commented. Gladio is a man of few words. Except when he's trying to talk shit.
Why does Gladio have two different colors of hair? You guys see that? His sides are black, but his hair is brown. Wonder who that sounds like? Uh, don't know. No one in particular. Probably Nathan. Sounds like Nathan. Looking mountain. Wouldn't want to pass up a shot of this. Can I? Sure. I guess so. Shoot. All right. Let's get a little closer then. I forgot about photo ops. Wait. Oh my god, Ignis is going to make us go. Not like this. Should That's be not nice very far. Pace. Pace. Gladio, like, weird shaped mall thing is a very strangely popular hairstyle in Final Fantasy XV land. Even Nyx has it. Not exactly the same one, but close enough. Alright. Let's get a good outfit going on here. Okay, no. I was thinking about it. We can't do it that way. No, sorry. Daddy-o. Uh... Nah, uh, I, I like it when Ignis' hair is down. You're slightly muffled. Messed up. You know what I mean. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. I hope that thing's in the shot. <laughs> Ready or not? Why is Ignis getting, like, cut off here? That's not cool. I've never seen Gladio do that pose. Oh, love the lighting. Hey, I got an achievement for that. Yeah. Anyways, back to the car. Yeah, Ignis getting blocked out hard. Also, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed this before. Let me just shine the light on Nox's back here. The characters actually sweat. The only other game I've noticed that does that is Tekken. Stupid ship. Drive Everything faster, Iggy, before they come. Yep. Grab my phone and I almost fell out of my chair. Okay, okay, here we go. Below the mines. Do I have any Phoenix Downs at all? Taking a walk on the wild side? Nothing like nature in the middle of nowhere. Do I? I have no Phoenix Downs. <sighs> it's gonna be fun. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna want some of these. Give me that. Give me that one. As long as I can self heal a little bit, right? This is going to be Prompto's time to shine. Also probably going to want to save. Wait, I think I have a Mega Phoenix? Yeah, I got a Mega Phoenix, alright. So we're not super screwed. Where 
Where is that treasure? Supposed to be right in there we are. Remedy. That was not what I was hoping for. Alright, uh, let's save it really quickly. Whoa. Hello, G-Force experienced. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. Never seen that before. I don't know if you guys could see that or not. Wow. That might be the oldest elevator I've ever seen. Huh. It's up and running. No way. Going down. Are you sure this thing can hold all of us at the same time? That's what I'm thinking, but you know, we'll just not die, it'll be fine. Showtime. Let's hope it's not a tragedy. It sure ain't a comedy. Uh, all aboard, huh? What? Afraid it can't take our weight? More likely to become stuck. I can live with stuck. This thing's been around a while. I can only guess when they began mining here. Know what sort of place this is? The sort that's infested with bloodthirsty demons. Am I warm? Red hot, I'd say. Give me a break. Well, there's no telling how deep the shaft goes. All the way to hell. Uh, to right here. Glad they're going to the mine sh shirtless, because he ain't afraid of tetanus. Down deeper. Bit of a... Shot in the dark, don't you think? Mister. It's quiet. Too quiet. Baddies could bounce any time from anywhere. Keep your heads on a swivel. The track's laid out for us. Is this a minecart? That's how they shipped out whatever they dug up. Hmm. Noctis, extremely interested. That rumbling. Something's coming towards us. Whatever it is, it's moving pretty damn fast. From behind, look out! A little late on that one, aren't you, Gladio? I doubt the cart started rolling on its own. Something or someone moved it. Coming right at Again? us. Again? Uh. Got him, red. Oh, son of a bitch! You're an asshole. Whoa. The power of the axe compels you. Well, do, do, do. Down and down we go. Oh, do we have to? You know the answer to that. And down we go. Whoa, jump scares and uh, getting spooked seem to be a theme in, Dust or, uh, in lead dungeons. To be honest, I haven't been in the below of mine since near the beginning of my very first playthrough, so I don't remember much. It's like I'm experiencing it all for the first time. Eat shit. Why are you alive? Nice Gladio. Ramshackle, to say the least. Yeah. With plenty of nooks and crannies for things to jump out at you. There's the elevator, so further down we go. Just want to fill out the map. The axe is just great, man. It's just so good, except for the fact that you get fucking one shot all the goddamn time. Just to prove a point. Onward. Right. That's weird. The hell? Let's go, bitch. Come on, carts again? Move aside, quickly. Since when does it? Whoa! 
stop it. No, stop it. Why? <laughs> oh, I'm fucking dead as fuck. Uh, well, I guess we're using our Mega Phoenix. The other person I thought I'd get put into danger, even though I only had one HP and I wouldn't need to use the Phoenix Dan or Elixir or anything. Can't really explain why I thought that. Holy shit! Ugh. Stop it! Stop it! Get me out of here! Yo, get fucking wreck, rude. Crowd control. Crowd control! Crowd control! Crowd control! Please! Crowd control! Everyone form up! Okay, uh huh? Ignis, kill this shit for me. I'm pressing square. All the shit is dead. How come Ignis is doing combo finishers so often? Asatoni as the resident combo expert. What the fuck? That was a rather tiring endeavor. <sighs> Alright, just to make things more exciting, we have no Phoenix Dance and literally zero defense. Actually, I don't know if it's literally zero defense, but it may as well be literally zero defense. I think we'll find a Phoenix Dance somewhere. Bunch of elixirs, but that's not really going to help me. Still have a ways to go. Someone's a fan of ventilation. That was a terrible joke, Gladio. You should feel bad. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, stop it. Holy shit, stop it. Get wrecked, bitch. I like shotguns. Onward. Yep. I missed something about the saber tusk ambush. There's a way to make him do finishers a lot. Okay. I know. I, I saw your video guide way back when, but I thought you had to like do some weird stuff and not just hold down circle with Blizzard up. I'm scared to alt tab to scroll up so I can see what that something about the Saberdust ambush was. I don't want to crash the game again. Hey, it's that same thing that's in uh, Crystal and Channel. I think I was clutching my jaw, my teeth hurt. my defense go up. That one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Ignis just did the Blizzard finisher like five times for no apparent reason. He like did one twirl and then finisher and then another twirl and then finisher. It's really weird. No, <laughs> walked out. Battle. Whoops. Seems we found what we were looking for. 
Be sure to get my good side. Shoot. Propped out. There you go. Oh yeah, I'm right there now. Don't argue. Just go now. Time to go this way. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's just weird that those things exist. Eat shit, goblin. Oh, I did not mean to fall. My hidey hole is gone. I got poison though, so it's all good. Oh, no, Ignis. Gladio, I mean, whatever the fuck. Gladio, don't die. Headshots exist in this game? I forget. Gladio, you're supposed to not suck. What you're doing is the opposite of doing that. What the hell, guys? I have a mega potion. No. Hey, Gladio. How you look, Sir Noctis? Damn it. Wait, Lumen Flares. Cool. Oh no! No! I fell into the thing! Throwing the lumen flare and it tossed me into the fucking crowd, dude. Uh... <sighs> this game has game overs. I didn't even know. I haven't game over it in this game since episode Ignis when Ravis one hits you and I it had been so long since I actually went to zero HP that I forgot what to do in order to pick myself up, so I just timed out and got a game over. And before that I've never gotten a game over. <sighs> Damn it, man. Well, that's why we save, I guess. Did I get an auto save or something? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not even with the flying car? And no, I've never actually game over to the flying car before. At least not on accident. One time I tried to crash it, and it crashed in spectacular wow. fashion, but I don't really that count that. The oldest... oh, this thing's ancient. You sure it's safe? Only one way to find out. I didn't even crash my way out of pity. I was, I'd heard about it. I'm like, alright, I better save, and then make sure I don't fuck this up. And then I just did it. I'm like, oh. Okay. Actually, I might, I might have crashed when I was going to Pityos. 
in a random stream I did a, a couple months back. I guess when they began mining here. I don't think I did though. What sort of place this is? The sort that's infested with bloodthirsty demons. Am I warm? Red hot, I'd say. Give me a break. All right, let's not use our yeah, only so Phoenix down this time. Shop, guys. All the way to hell. In the interest of finishing the stream soon, we're just gonna go straight for yeah. the Yoshimitsu. You can always take it down deeper. Bit of a shot in the dark, don't you think? That was terrible, prompto. You, you should feel bad. Is it basement three I want to go to? I forget. Oh, we're in basement three now. Yeah, I don't know why people. I'm going all out. Complain about hear that the uh, type two or type app so much. It's not that bad. I've definitely yeah. seen videos of people like trying to take off and then clipping a lamp post or something and blowing up. That sounds like bullshit, but I don't know. Hey, Chromebit. Feels like we're exploring the mine forgotten by time. This place is so old. I'll be surprised if there isn't treasure here. How many times? Enough talk. Time for some action. Get wrecked, nerd. Get lost. Well, we were doing okay on the uh, Yoshimitsu before, so we'll just do it better this time, and we'll have a Phoenix down, so I won't use one like an idiot. And, uh, yeah. At least if we get lost, we can go on the rail track. Even you can be annoying. Implying that prompt is usually annoying. You ready? Kind of burnt yourself there, Prompto. You like that? Solid. Right? I find humanity in general, not even just gamers, have a penchant for doing stupid shit and then blaming it on something else. Instead of the fact that they were doing something stupid. It. None the worse for wear. Bring on the next one. May as well grab this item up here. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Jump. Huh. Still have a ways to go. Someone's a fan of ventilation. Well, here we are. Blasted. Outstanding. Booty blasted, I might say. Get shit on. The machine's doing okay. Fuck ladders, 2015. There's a lot of puns in this game. And on some fundamental level I can't approve, but also, like, it's pretty good. Whoa. What do you make of this place? Is it good or bad? Did I target that guy? Thank you. That's just extremely extra. Anyway, prompto. Appreciate the dedication to writing a lot of stuff. Prompto, holy shit, your aim, dude. You have one job, it's literally to use a gun. It's not even that hard, you're using a fucking gun. Oh. Good thing we've got that Mega Phoenix, boys. I'm gonna go over here now, where there's not a Naranusha. Yoshimitsu, whatever the hell he is. I can...
Oh, everyone is dead. Everyone is dead. Can't aim the pistol. Sucks. Okay, that's max range. So just use this on these guys over here. No. Nope. Buddy, I need you to, like, try a little harder here. I don't think the Destiny's gonna poison him, but hey. Wait, I have Star Shell. The fuck am I doing? I'm well aware of what Star Shell does. It's exactly the same as in the main game. Or uh, when Prop is not a DLC character, I mean. Uh, okay. Gladio, stand up. I can keep this shoot him. Check. God damn it, I keep forgetting techniques is on L2 with the police prompt it. Gladio! I need someone to aggro him. So Gladio needs to say like. Target, please. I think that's one of the AOE attacks. I'm gonna go over here. I can't. Fuck. I guess I'll shoot this guy. Does Prompto have problems? Like, why can't he stand still? There we go. Holy shit! Biggie! Hey, don't overdo it! Man! Fucking guy. Can't even pick this item up. And I'm out of ammo. Lovely. Prompto has a lot of problems. <laughs> Get poisoned, you bastard. Wish you could aim the pistol like you do the SMG. There you go. There's the poison. Not taking the risk that's gonna hit me. Why is he recovering from poison so fast? Get crit, son. A lot easier if all my friends weren't dead. We're going over here. Nah. I'm good at this game. You know you're playing an RPG when cheese tactics exist. kind of having problems over here. My cheese is too strong for this world. I appreciate if you could aim for the love of fuck prompto. Oh, 
hopefully this helps. He's not appear to be affected. I'm slowly whittling him down. At least. Gladio, chill. Tracking. I'm a 76 main. Watch, he's gonna teleport up here somehow. You know what? Gladio, just use the potion. Where is this guy? Holy sh- what the f Fuck! Please? I'm sad, dude. Can he reach me from up there? How is that fair? <laughs> Someone clipped that. I, I need you to hit the clip button, Asatoni, and then send me the link. I'm so tilted. <laughs> I'm so tilted I'm turning this stream off. Thanks, homie. God damn it. Alright, well, I'm gonna get off for now. Do some more chemistry studying. Eat dinner. Uh, I'll probably stream some more Final Fantasy tomorrow, around the same time I started today. Uh, maybe a little bit later. Because uh, I, I got work, so I can't stream any earlier. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Final Fantasy XV, where we get fucked up by a samurai when we're using a gun. It's a real feels bad moment. <sighs> Send it to me on Discord. Great, great. I'll, I'll post that in the the dank YouTube highlights for what not to do. Final Fantasy 15 fails compilation. <sighs> anyway, yeah. See you all tomorrow, probably. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh...